Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Jalen. This is the BBTV News for Friday, May 18th. Hi, Bobcats. I'm Dylan, starting you off with our top stories of the day. In honor of our last show, we have decided to shine light on some fun news stories. In California, a burglar was caught dancing on film. It is said he stole a laptop from the business and several keys. The man has been identified as David Seal. And don't worry, this smooth criminal has been arrested. Hi, Bobcats. I'm Emily. On Monday, one family in New Jersey had their tasty cupcake treats stolen by a rather large thief. This villain was actually a black bear. It had broken into the car to steal cupcakes. The New Jersey police is still looking for this hungry thief. That's all for our top stories today. Now let's move over to the BBTV Sports Zone. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Adriana, and you've just entered the BBTV Sports Zone. For today's sports feature, we're going to look at the Middle Tennessee softball team who has won the first CUSA Tournament Championship on Saturday afternoon. The Raiders came back from behind for the second time in, in as many days to defeat Florida Atlantic. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Ben, and I'm here with the feature of the day. Today's feature is Wacky Fact. Did you know the elephant seal is a very interesting and large animal? There are two species of the elephant seal, and one of them almost went instinct in when 20 to 100 were recorded in 1910. Luckily, they have had a successful recovery. The southern elephant seals are the largest of the elephant seal family, reaching lengths of 20 feet, and coming in at about an average of 8,800 pounds. Elephant seals can dive a mile or more into the ocean and mainly eat squids. Hi Bobcats, I'm Brendan and I'm here with your daily announcements. First up, there are registration forms for the Burke Boys Basketball Camp in the office. Please see Mr. Ward for any questions. Remember Bobcats, all of your library books need to be, re be returned by the end of the day today. Also, students should start taking things home from the lockers as students will not be able to use the lockers next Thursday and Friday. That's all for today's announcements. Now for the little fun for the before we go. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Rian. I'm here with the Before We Go segment. For all you dog lovers, here's an emotional reunion between a U.S. soldier and her dog. Tampa International Airport shared video of the reunion on Facebook Wednesday. Army Reserve Sergeant Tracy McKithern rescued and adopted Irby while she was deployed in Iraq. It's been seven months since, two, since the two have seen each other. And as you can see, there was plenty of love to go around. Thanks for watching our broadcast today. I'm Jalen, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week. Congratulations. Congrats. Let's run it back. 
Flow got the 18 years in rap For every high school grad getting the gown and cap 2000, Bush edges out court In the end, it's decided by the Supreme Court 01 iPods arrive, we map the genome Plus one of the worst attacks that we know 9-11 caused almost 3,000 coffins US invades Afghanistan, hunting Bin Laden 02, Bush sees an evil axis, lowers taxes Enron fraud is drastic 03, started the Iraq war Columbia explodes, death in Darfur Biggest US minority is now Latin Ask my primo, Pixar finds Nemo 04, Red Sox win, reverse the curse And Facebook is started by a couple of nerds It's the year the tsunami hits the shore Kerry loses and Bush wins four more 05, Hurricane Katrina has no love the Pope dies, baseballers are on drugs 06 Nintendo Wii, what's next? Saddam Hussein gets put to death 07 iPhone drops, yeah, I cop it We see the crisis in the housing market But we had the first female speaker of the house Every year new barriers for women break down 08, another barrier down, that's evident Obama is the first black president Lehman Brothers, fail, Phelps for the win Hey, gold medals, that dude can swim 09 Stimulus, water on the moon, R.I.P. MJ, he is gone too soon. The first Latina justice, Sotomayor, with ten trillion dollars in debt, and it's gonna be more. 2010, earthquakes in Chile and Haiti, oil spills and ash clouds, that's crazy. Healthcare reform is on the way. Miners in Chile, hey, they got saved. 2011, that's the Arab Spring. Occupy Wall Street is in full swing. We find Bin Laden, bury him in the sea. Steve Jobs dies, may he rest in peace. 2012, Obama is reelected. Superstorm Sandy hits a northeast and wrecks it. And I cried when I heard what went down to the little kids killed in Newtown. 2013, Boston Marathon bombings. Pope Francis is a new Roman pontiff. Civil War. In Syria and Snowden leaks. Nelson Mandela now rests in peace. 2014, Russia hosts the games, then claims some of Ukraine, Putin's his name. In the US, people take to the streets, protesting fatal force used by police. 2015, still protests galore, and refugees flee the Syrian civil war. More jobs in the US, hear the cheers? World hunger rate is the lowest in 20 years. 16 Olympics in Rio de Janeiro. Simone Biles is a new American hero. Britain votes to leave the EU Brexit by Hillary and Trump are trying to get elected. The pollsters were all surprised when Trump pulled a victory before their eyes. 2014 was the hottest year ever. And 2015 was the hottest year ever. And 2016 was the hottest year ever. Global warming, breaking records in the weather. In 2017, hurricanes got gnarly. Devastation with Irma, Maria, and Harvey. Women speaking out ignited me too. When the Russia probe still needs proof. The country feels more divided than ever. Will MAGA and the Dreamers ever get together? 2018, plastic in the Pacific. Syrian chemical weapons are horrific. The school shooting in Parkland killed 17. The student activists stepped into the mainstream. Low funding for schools? To me, that's crazy. Yeah. The teachers been on strike from OK to AZ. And even if your future feels hazy and you don't know exactly who you may be, stay true to you. Become who you want to be. We're rooting for you from your Flowcap family. Let's go.